As cases rise, of course, so does the stress level for health care workers. Tiffany Tarpley has the story of an Ohio physician dealing while doing her job. The days are long, the work nonstop. You know, a lot of our physicians are working around the clock and our, you know, nurses are doing back to back to back 12 hour shifts to cover the patients because there's just so many patients and we have a shortage of health care providers right now. Situations like these playing out in hospitals across the country and right here in Ohio. Dr. Lori Hamama, born and raised in Lorraine, is now a family physician at Ohio Health in Columbus. So I've cared for patients with COVID, you know, on the regular medical floor. I've cared for, um, you know, I take care of newborn babies in the hospital as well. And so, you know, babies born to moms who have COVID. And so it's just really been uh, just just a big change. A change that's challenging. You know, going from room to room and, and just seeing how, um, how, how sick the patients are. It's really hard. Not only is Dr. Hamama working to take care of patients, but as the director of well-being, she's also making sure her healthcare colleagues have outlets for emotional support, mental health, and overall wellness. You know, as a healthcare provider, our first, we all took an oath to do no harm, and that has to include ourselves too. And now more than ever, we can't forget our healthcare workers making daily sacrifices, pushing through this pandemic. We are in the way of everyone's lives right now <laughs> because everyone wants to move on and we haven't been able to move on. And it's so hard to watch our community, you know, having sleepovers and parties and we're, you know, trudging, kind of trudging in every day, knowing what's coming because of it. Dr. Hamama and I attended the same high school and I reached out to her after reading one of her most recent Facebook posts. She talked about her own self-care during this time and also urged her followers to stay home, wear masks, get takeout, and stop the parties and gatherings. In Rush, she also called the disinformation and conspiracy theories madness. Well, wow, much respect to her. I want to give folks in perspective. Earlier, we gave those city numbers 314 for today. That is by far a record in the city of Cleveland. Tiffany Tarpley, thank you.